The Seven Star Cinderace Terror Raid event is back again this coming weekend. We're going to cover the best builds for you to go into this Terror Raid and beat it solo by yourself to make this easy for farming or even getting that Cinderace if you've already missed this event. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So from the 13th of January, this coming Friday, we are going to see the return of this seven star terror raid event. We've already had it once before, so we have a bunch of information going into it that's going to make it a lot easier for you to take on this raid solo and even online if you would like to with these upcoming builds. We will, of course, do an update video as the event goes live to make sure you're aware of all the details like we did last time, but it is pretty much going to be exactly the same as it was the first time around. Remember, if you've already caught the Cinderace in your games, then you're not going to be able to catch it the second time around when this event returns. You can only have one Cinderace from these events per save file. But if you did miss the events, of course, this is a great opportunity for you to jump back in and grab this exclusive event Pokemon with that special mark while you've got the chance to. And also it's one of the best events that we're getting in the minute where you can farm a lot of really high cost items that so definitely makes doing these events worthwhile. So we've already covered a couple of really strong builds options that you can take into this event then when it does come back around. But today I'm going to give you the three best builds. These are the builds I feel like they're the only ones you're going to need going into this event den. Slowbro is the main option that you're going to go in against, but we do have a build for Armor Rouge and Espathra, which we've not actually covered on the channel before. But I think between these three builds, you, if you use any of them going into these Cinderace Terror Raid events solo in your game, you're going to be able to do them very easily, making farming them for the items an extremely easy task. So you can use these items to sell if you want to get a lot of money or just acquire a lot of XL candies and things like ability patches which are super useful for training Pokemon up in your games. Now the first build of course is a slow bro. We covered this on the channel before. Let me move my camera down so I can properly show you all the details for it but this is my preferred build. The Terra type is going to be Psychic. It would make more sense going up against a Fighting type Cinderace. Going to have the Life Orb item on there. Not mandatory. You could go for something like Leftovers if you prefer the recovery. But I prefer the sheer power, the, the power stack that you're getting with that Life Orb. You're getting a 30% damage increase with this item. Although you do have the kind of setback of having that recoil damage from any time you do attack the opposing Cinderace. It is going to be level 100. Make sure if you're going into a 7 star raid that your Pokemon is at level 100 it is important to do that these pokemon are all hyper trained as well so using bottle caps to make sure that you've got 31 ivs across the board obviously if you are doing something like these pokemon in particular that are all special attackers then the attack stat is irrelevant you don't need to train that attack stat but everything else is quite important the EV spread on this particular slow bro is 252 HP and 252 special attack EVs with four of the remaining EVs put into defense. Now you can go a little bit more optimal with this EV spread if you would like. I've done this EV spread in particular because I will be using this for other terror raids, not just the Cinderace. But if you're wanting to have a bit more of an optimal EV spread for this particular seven star raid, you can go 252 defense EVs and then 252 special attack EVs. It'll just mean you're taking a little bit less damage from those physical attacks that the Cinderace is throwing out. Although it really doesn't matter because you're going to be primarily using Iron Defense, which boosts your defense stat by two stages every time you use it. So the moveset, as you can see, is Psychic Terrain, Iron Defense, Nasty Plot and Stored Power. I think after testing this a bunch of times with Slack Off, which is really useful for recovery, I don't feel like you need it. And you can set up a complete one shot with the Life Orb stack with the Psychic Terrain and then a combination of using Iron Defense, which is what you would start the battle off with. Get your three Iron Defenses up, max out your defense, then get your three Nasty Plots up and then you can get your Psychic Terrain up and then Stored Power. There are a few caveats to this. Of course, you will see the Cinderace from time to time. It will nullify all of the stat changes and abilities on your side of the field. So completely wiping out all of your stat boosts which can be annoying and that is something that's going to happen it is completely random in these dens and it is going to be something that does happen from time to time but if you have patience you can go back in and you will get this combination off and overall this is probably the more consistent build of all of them you can cut down the number of stat boosts that you take on your slow bro through a battle as well to make sure that you get some big damage off before those stats are nullified like you can do three 
Iron Defense Boost, two Nasty Plot on uh, Psychic Terrain. And most of the time, you're going to be able to get that stalled power off and just chunk the Cinderace and do a lot of damage. The ability on the Slowbro doesn't matter too much, uh, but the and the nature on this Slowbro is modest. So that is what you want to do to train up your Slowbro. This is the one that I've picked out for this video, and I feel like if you do use it, obviously there are other options that you can have. You can have Slack Off if you don't want the Psychic Terrain uh, to have a bit more recovery on there. And like I've said about the item as well, the leftovers or something like that, or an expert belt could be an option over the life orb. But I just prefer having that big damage and having that better chance of being able to one shot the Cinderace when I am set up. The next option is going to be Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge for a few reasons. We've got the item Shell Bell on here to give you a line of recovery like we like to do with these Terror Raids. Terror Type is going to be psychic for the Armor Rouge. It is making a bit more sense because it is going to take advantage of that typing advantage that we have over the fighting type cinderace again level 100 again it is going to be hyper trained with 31 ivs across the board ev spread for armor rouge is going to be 252 hp and then 252 special attack again you can optimize that a little bit differently if you want to go more defensive evs it is completely up to you what you're being more comfortable with but generally this is quite a consistent ev spread for a terror raid Flash Fire is the ability on Armor Rouge. It just makes you immune to any sort of fire type attacks that the Cinderace is going to throw out. We know the moveset that it's got. It's going to have that Pyro Ball. So that's not going to be an issue for you going forward. And then the moveset is going to be Psychic Terrain. So playing a little bit similar to that Slow Bro, we're going to have the Psychic Terrain on the field, boosting our Psychic type attacks. Acid Spray is an option as well, a brilliant one. It supports team members as well because you're dropping the special defensive stat on the Cinderace every time you use this move. And it also hits through the shield when the Cinderace does throw that up. So primarily what you want to do is use the Acid Spray three times, Calm Mind a couple of times, and then get your Psychic Terrain up and then start throwing out those expanding force attacks, which are gonna do extremely huge damage to the Cinderace. And you do have a good chance of picking up a one shot but you're normally gonna it's normally gonna take a little bit longer than the slow bro with the armor rouge although a very solid option as well again a modest nature on this armor rouge a bit like the slow bro just taking advantage of that special attack stat to make sure you're getting the damage out that you want onto the field and armor rouge a really solid option and one of the best ones going into this seven star terror raid event and on to the third and final pokemon probably my favorite out of all three in this video and a really good one that you can not only do solo raids online by yourself these seven star cinderace ones but you can go online and support friends with this particular pokemon an extremely strong pokemon option for this is going to be espathra the psychic type going to have that psychic terror type for it we've given the item twisted spoon you could normally see something like a clear amulet here but because the cinderace doesn't really have any moves that are going to lower your defenses or attack or anything like that it doesn't really feel like it's the most optimal item whereas twisted spoon gives you a boost to your psychic type attacks without any kind of drawbacks as well and you don't need something like the shell bell because we do have an access to the move roost which you'll see in a moment again level 100 again going to be hyper trained 31 ivs across the board for all of its stats going to have the ev spread again of 252 HP and 252 special attack with the remaining put into defense. We're going to have the ability opportunist, which is an amazing ability, especially against the Cinderace, where it is continually going to use that move bulk up. Every time it does, the opportunist ability will activate and you will gain the same boost as it. So meaning that, you know, when it is boosting its attack up and its defense, you're getting those defense boosts as well, meaning that you're going to be able to take those attacks that are increased a lot better with your Espathra and you've got the obviously the move set of Roost, Calm Mind, Feather Dance and Lumina Crash. So you can use Feather Dance as an option to reduce the attack stat on that Cinderace, make sure it's not hitting as hard. It's amazing online as well if you're doing this with friends where you can use the Feather Dance to just reduce the attack stat and make sure that it's not picking up knockouts when it otherwise would have done. You've got Calm Mind as well to boost your special attack. The special defense boost doesn't really matter too much and you've got that signature move lumina crash which is going to be your main way to do damage on this cinderace and it also reduces the special defense every time you use it on the cinderace meaning that your moves are essentially getting 
getting stronger every single turn. It works through the shield as well, which is amazing. So this is one of the reasons why I think Espathra is an amazing Pokemon and probably a little bit better, in my opinion, overall than the Slowbro, because I think the options that it's got to go online and really work uh, as an option to support your fellow Pokemon trainers with the Feather Dance and you've got the ability to also take on board the boost that the Cinderace is getting with the Opportunist ability. It does mean that you're going to be sitting on the field and just stacking up your Calm Mind boosts and then your Lumina Crash attacks just to make sure you're going to wear it down and take it down very consistently with this one Pokemon. So these are the three builds I would say get prepared with at least one of them going into this event this weekend. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. Obviously, I think Slowbro is probably my overall favorite, but I'd say for a more consistent experience, if you're doing it solo and you're doing it online then Espathra is probably your best option with Armour Rouge coming in at a close third but it is a very good option nonetheless uh, if you have your own builds though in game that you've already taken part in the last seven star raid event with I would love to hear what you had a lot of success with online obviously there are a lot of builds and nothing is the definitive best one because you can have a lot of options that do have a lot of success in these raids whatever situation you're putting yourself in but I hope Hope you found this video useful and i hope these three builds that we featured today will be very useful for you coming up into this seven star raid for not only getting the cinderace if you haven't already got it but for farming the items which are so valuable and an easy way to get them in your games to make training up and getting money and other things like that a lot easier for you going forward Thank you for tuning in. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.